and we're recording. Hello guys, I'm Angela and this is my husband Logan. I've been a pastry chef for about 11 years. And I'm hungry, so let's make some food. <laughs> oh wait, I'm supposed to say I've been eating for many more. Yeah? Yeah, that All right. works. <laughs> and today we're gonna make a Swiss roll. Yay, intros, I did good. It's so good. All right, what are we doing? Okay, so I got your recipe there. You can weigh out your flour and salt in this bad boy. Turn on. 60 grams of flour. How much is 60 grams? Not a lot. No? No. Well, there's That's 20. One. There's 28 grams in an ounce. 42. 51. Gotta be perfect. Salt. And salt. Oh, you got salt. Our kitchen's so big, it's so far away. I should have grabbed it out. Yeah. Only you answered my question earlier. Do you know what a Swiss cake is? Yeah, it's a cake made in Switzerland. It's essentially a uh, chiffon or genoise cake. Which yeah, is, you're just saying big words now. <laughs> which is a cake that's primarily eggs and air. And you roll it up with usually some sort of filling. Today we are doing uh, whipped cream. Just nice and traditional. So like just the chocolate Swiss cake roll that you buy at the grocery store. Exactly. Yeah. But better. Well, yeah. Because it's homemade. All right, what exactly. next? The yolks in here and the whites in here. Oh, okay. The yolk comes out or the white comes out? What comes out easy? <laughs> the white comes out first. Or at least you want it to. Yolk. Put in here? What were you gonna say? Well, I just wanted you to be careful if you're trying to get more white out. But oh, I saw it broke. I have more in there. Yolk. I got eggy fingers. 30 grams of sugar. Damn it! I went over. I can't even take it out because it's wet now. It's only one gram. I'm over. It's just one gram. I'm over. Thirty grams of oil. Thirty plus thirty is sixty. I can I just, do. I don't know. I just wanted to make sure you were prepared to do math. That's only thirty-nine. That's why I'm adding one more gram. Oh, got it. 30 grams of milk. 60 plus 30 is 90. 90 plus 30 is 90. Oh, shit. Oh, watch me. Pardon my touch. You know what you could have done? Pour it in the cabinet. I went way over. It's not way over, it's just at 96. Instead of 92, what it's supposed to be at. That's four extra grams. Oh no! Half pound of uh, vanilla. A half pound? Yep. Make sure all the settlement's good. We don't cook your eggs. They're not cooking, are they? The acid and the, the alcohol. Whisk it. You're cooking it. You're spoiling your milk. You wanted to get a little bit of air. My arms are getting tired. Already? Yeah. You just started. I'm not used to doing this, okay? Is that good? No, a little bit more. You're like hiding behind the door. Oh. Sorry, camera. There's a door here. Oh. And put the sugar in here. Oh. So a lot of people think that you have to add in your sugar gradually when you're whipping your egg whites. But I never do that. I dump all of it in right away. I've never had an issue. So I gotta go quick? Yep, once you put it in, just quick go over to the mixer. 
mixer and start mixing it. That's too much. Run! I'm being whisked. Okay. So, here. <gasps> your left hand in this comes in handy! Good angles! This is nice, okay. Just gonna sift this in. Because we're not using a spatula, you can be a little bit more rough with it. Like I'm this. trying, but I'm just, I'm just saying. You're in my way. I'm just trying to fill some dead air space, you know? You're, Let people know in case they actually want to know way. how to make a cake, a genoise. Don't do what? Keep going. I'm trying, you're in my way. Okay, don't mix it too much. Once you don't see flour anymore, you're good. So what we uh, wanna do is first put a little bit of this in there just to make break it up. More, less? That's good. Um, go ahead and whisk it in. That's a wrap. Okay. And then you can start adding it into this bad boy. This in there? Yep. Oh. We just wanted to do a little bit so that it's loose enough so that it'll mix into this a little bit better. And then I don't want you to like whip it. I want you to kind of like fold it. Now what? Kind of gently fold it around. Get in the bottom. You might need to use the spatula to get the bottom in there. But just be really careful. We, want, we don't want to lose all of the air that we've created in this. You're, you're starting to mess around. See, look at all the bottom you missed there, dude. Well, that's what happens when you give me a whisk. I don't know, I do just fine with it. I'm gonna wipe this off on you. Oh my God, dude. What? Just <laughs> stop. Right, so I've already sprayed the bottom of this pan. I'm gonna put parchment on it, spray it again and then spread that on there. Just pour it on. Make sure it's flat though. It was flat. It wasn't. Ish. Well, you handed it to me a little way. So when you're doing a pan, what you wanna do is first push into the corners, each four corner. Get it into the corner, okay? Not from the center. Because everyone always leaves more in the center than in, in the corners. So you always wanna get those first and then you'll start evening it out. Why'd you just steal a bunch from that corner? Do you see that gap you just made? You have a big clump here, a big clump here, and this is your biggest corner. How do you want me to get that better? You also don't just have to go that way. I haven't like, done a cake in a while. I think mine was smoother than yours. Yeah, Even. but that I can see pan there. Now you got a thick spot right there in the middle. So we're just gonna do it. Just one tap on the on the. Can I just drop it? Yeah. Move your toes. I don't want to step on them. All right. Now I'll just get out some of the air bubbles so we don't have like a big pocket somewhere. But okay. What now? So we're gonna bake this at 375 for about 14 to 15 minutes. So we're back. Um, our cake is a little bit thinner than I anticipated it to be. I also might have a little sticking issue, but we're gonna we're gonna roll with it. All right, we're gonna roll with this Swiss cake roll. Yeah. And we're gonna roll with it. Okay. Um, put some on. I was making way too much whipped cream. No sauce. No sauce. Do you remember when I told you about the corner? in a minute. I'm 
I'm just getting my base layer. I mean, I want to read on fight with it too. Well, you want to make it better? No, just to start rolling it. All right, so what you want to do is, yeah, just kind of start rolling it, and as you go, peeling the paper off. So you, you want to use the paper, and at the same time, try not to squish it too much. got it rolled up now we're gonna cut it you're gonna cut it or are you just gonna sit there and eat how big are those slices not if you i'm working on it that's gonna be our scrap piece okay. so much whipped cream Ratio of the cake to to whipped cream isn't the best. We already ate some, but I'll try it too. They taste delicious. The, rest, the recipe originally called for it to be um, baked in a 9 by 13 pan. I actually don't own a 9 by 13. I just have a half sheet. I don't remember what the dimensions are of those. So if you guys are using a half sheet, double the recipe. Otherwise, a 9 by 13 is what the recipe size is for. So you'll have a better ratio of cake to uh, whipped cream. But otherwise, that's it from us. So if you guys liked the video, make sure to let us know by liking down below. Leave a comment. Well, don't don't do don't do a thumbs down, but do a thumbs up. But down below, and <laughs> leave a comment. Let us know what you guys want us to make next. And um, if you're also interested in seeing on um, what I'm up to on the daily, you can follow me on Instagram at Broken Baker. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.